Hello, today we're going to show you tutorial number two, which is how to create your time zones. From the section here we can click on time zones and it comes factory with three preset time zones which is at no time, which means nothing will work, all day every day, which means it will work all the time, or working hours, it will work during preset working hours. We can either change what's there or we can create our new time zone. For the purpose of this demonstration I'm going to create a new one. So we're going to double click on time zone and we're going to give it a name. Let's say cleaners. And then click on OK. What that will do is it will bring up another box here. At the minute the card will not work because there is no green sections in here. So let's say the cleaners come in between 6 and 9 in the morning and they come back in between 6 and 9 in the evening. What we can do is we can click anywhere in these amber boxes and we can drag until we get to the correct time that we actually want to do up here. We said we're going to get them to continue working between 6 and 9 at night time. So what will happen is that when we allocate this to their cards, this means that their card will only work between 6 and 9 and 6 and 9 at night as well. If we need to tweak these at all, when you are working on one particular section it will turn blue. Down at the bottom here, we can set minutes for it to um, change it so we can go five minutes prior to when it's meant to start, five minutes after and just tweak it to a more specific time. If you're happy with that and they do that every single day, if we right click on that line we can copy the day. We can then go into each line that they come into on each day and we can paste it into each of the days that them staff particularly come into work and then let's say for example if on a Friday they only come in between 6 and 9 we can just drag that like that and that is a schedule for the cleaners if at any time we need to change the times that they come in if you click on the box that you want to highlight and we click on the red arrow there, we can actually increase or decrease the amount of time that it will actually allow their card or door to function. When you're happy with the time and the date, if we click on apply, that will now appear in your time zone schedule over here. So at any point we can reopen it change the time to whatever we need them to do or delete them whichever one suits you or we can add in extra ones in case they're coming in for extra shifts when you finish doing your additions or your alterations just click on apply that's automatically saved you've now created a new time zone that we have labeled as cleaners that could be for simplicity what I would normally do in tutorial number one we created departments what I would recommend is that you set up time zones to match the names of the departments that you've actually created. Next we'll go on to doing access levels. Uh, we'll do that in tutorial number three. If there's any questions on time zones, just send me a message and I'll try and find out the message for you as best as I can. Thank you. <coughs>